Interesting matchup in Washington, D.C. Once upon a time, I Washington Nationals against everyone's New York Yankees. And the Yankees did fall last night as a sizable favor with Garrett Cole over Corbin. And uh, that's now back-to-back good starts for Corbin. You know, we always look to bounce bounce back guys after two bad starts. Well, maybe we'll have the uh, fade the bad guys after two good starts angle coming up next week with Corbin. But maybe. if you told me one guy would go six innings, no runs. Another guy would give up, what, three runs, five innings. I think we all would have thought Cole had the good outing, but it was the other way around. Uh, Yankees did lose 4-2. Actually out hit the Nationals by one hit. Of course, they had the easy win the night before. So I do think this is a bounce back spot for New York with Radon over Mackenzie Gore. Battle of lefties on the mound at 645 Eastern tonight on Wednesday. Different ways you can play this, of course. You could take the money line with the Yankees, uh, minus that 185, minus 190, as high as minus 200. I think the safer play is the run line, minus 1.5, minus 120. Gets it down to a much more reasonable price. And never afraid to lay the run line, but especially with road teams because they do get nine full at-bats regardless here. So the minus 1.5, minus 120 is appealing. And also the total is nine in this game, so we should have a decent amount of offense uh, Yankees are a team that are as good as anybody in baseball. They're kind of slugging through their last four, two and two. Uh, they're just five and five, their last 10. Um, but this is still a team that's won 18 of their last 30 games. Uh, they're in good current form overall. Nationals are playing hard still. And I do think with the September call-ups around the corner, Dylan Cruz was brought up. By the way, they held off bringing up the number two prospect in baseball. Keep in mind, he was the number two pick after Paul Skeens, his teammate at LSU last year. Um, because they didn't want him to qualify for, as a rookie this year. So that's the only reason they held off on Cruz. So this Nats team could be a play on team over the next month, but this should be a focus spot for New York tonight um, after the uh, loss yesterday on Tuesday. Um, as far as Radon, good current form, 2.9 ERA going back to right before the All-Star break in his last seven starts. Uh, Mackenzie Gore, uh, not so much. ERA of 6.0, his last seven starts since mid-July. So these are two pitchers. Also heading in opposite for uh, opposite directions, opposite current form. And Mackenzie Gore is a young starter, don't forget. He's only pitched for a few seasons. These guys sometimes do wear out more as the seasons progress. So take a look at the Yankees here, minus one and a half run line tonight on Wednesday. And don't forget to check out my Wednesday night baseball best bets right now. I'm on a 12 and two, 15 and three runs. And that includes missing my play last night by half a run. In fact, two of those losses over the last three, over the last two and a half weeks, were by half a run. 15 and three run and two of those three losses by half a run, including last night. So it's not like anything's broke. Still 28 and 12 over the past 31 days. Number one at wagertalk.com up 57 units. So check out my daily best bets, but also don't forget about the all sports, all access because college football starts big time tomorrow night on Thursday throughout this weekend. Great time to be on board. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And don't forget about the bonus daily free plays. And also click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts here on Wager Talk TV for when those free football videos are up this week. Hit the thumbs up, the like, and comment below because I read all the comments and I reply back.